there YouTube, France Opera here. It is Tuesday, February 28th. Yes, it is the last day of February, but I am recording in February, which means even though this is coming out in March, it still counts as February's video. Anyway, as you might have heard, we've had some crazy weather here in Portland lately, setting uh, a record with our snowfall uh, last week, 10.8 inches in 24 hours. So I am sorry that this month's uh, video is pretty late, but that is why. It, we've had some crazy late winter weather here, and from what I've heard, plenty of other places in the U.S. are too. So I hope that you are staying warm and that you are staying safe wherever you are. But now it is time for a bit of a trip to the past, because for this month we have some retro nostalgia to take a look at. This is volume 32 of Mido in a Box. Let's see what we got in this non-standard box. All right, so let's see what we have in volume number 32, which is retro nostalgia themed. And yes, we do have one of the plain brown boxes this month, which is only for the deluxe edition. The standard is the, you know, kind of blue and purple themed box that we've had going on for, I think, three boxes now. But this usually means that there's something odd-shaped or extra fragile in here. So I am very curious to see what we've got, because I also didn't see any teasers for this month's box. So... Oh yeah, I got some retro vibes going on there right away. So, here's what we have in Deluxe, and of course, this is all going to be scanned. Link in the description where you can scan that QR code on screen. Oh, this is going to be a very funky box. Okay. Huh. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this box yet, but oh, oh there is definitely some uh, retro uh, looking things there. So let's see what we got here. This, I do believe, is the Standard kit, yeah, because that, oh my god, that is really a cassette tape box. Oh, who remembers cassette tapes? I do. I hope I'm not dating myself there. Uh, for our freebies this month, looks like a bunch of pens and inks and stuff. And this is what's in the deluxe. Oh yeah, I can see why this is an odd-shaped uh, box, because that is a big, and there is some heft to this uh, notebook that's spiral bound there. So that is definitely going to be interesting to take a look at. But of course, let's start off with this month's extra goodies. So to start us off, we have a new ink company this year that I have never heard of before. This is from Terra Nishi Chemical Industry, and this is the uh, Haikara Ink an opera rose color. Um, I don't know that I'd really call that a rose, but I guess, you know, maybe one that's wilting. That That's very brown looking to me, but there you have it. That is new company. And I mean, do, do we really need to take a look at this? You know the drill with these now. It's the new mild liner. And we have four Jelly Roll pens that are almost in CMYK color. These are uh, the Jelly Roll Moonlight series, it looks like. We got a brownish gray there, very, very mustard yellow, pink, and uh, that definitely looks like uh, cyan there. So, interesting start. Let's see what we got for our standard items. So, to start off our standard items, we have a mixtape! I'm just kidding. We have a cassette tape case, though. Like, le legitimately a cassette tape case. Uh, if you don't know what the heck a cassette is, this is a cassette. This is what we had before CDs. Please tell me you remember CDs. Um, but basically, yeah, cassette tapes, uh, they would come in a case pretty much exactly like this. They were, you know, nice rigid plastic. And uh, these are from Epoch Chemical and their message cards, which have uh, some different characters on there, I guess. Yeah, it's just like, almost, it's kind of almost like a business card um, size there. So 
Very cool. Yeah, they're all the same character, it looks like. Yeah, my god, I can't believe I've got a cassette tape case in 2023. Never thought I'd have another one of these again. Moving on from Kokuyo, we have a sketchbook, but this kind of reminds me of like, you know, if you would go to like a, a diner or a restaurant, you know, the, the things that they would take your order in. This is like actually hard bound. This is a very nice cover. It is, of course, grid, as Japan likes to use. I do prefer lined, but, you know, you do you. Nice, uh, I'd say, you know, like passport size. I think you could definitely fit that in a back pocket easily. Next up from Nakabayashi, we have the Teranishi Magic Ink. And there's one of three colors that you could get. I have the Violet Ink, apparently. And apparently this has been in Japan since the uh, 50s. That is an interesting vial there. Aha, uh -huh. it's an oil-based marker. You can use it on almost any surface. Very cool. We'll set that down. And then next up from King Jim, they seem to do a lot of these washi tapes. We have the Adaria Soda Balloon. Oh, wow, there are so many tiny little balloons on there. I don't think you're going to see them, so it's a good thing it shows balloons there. But, yep, some more washi tape. To go along with our uh, cards from Epoch Chemical, we have them back with a multi-ballpoint pen in four colors. Apparently, there's a different character on each one, and it's uh, named after a popular grandma or grandpa name from the 80s. Unfortunately, that is way too tiny for me to be able to read that to see what uh, name we have there. But yep, it is definitely a multi-pen. You know, you would see these like all over the place. I'm kind of glad that these are actually still alive and kicking and you can get some really cool ones now, like, you know, pens and pencils, all of that in one. Next up, we have a bit of uh, paper craft. So from Lemon Limited, these are the Chocoto Kobaku. And they are designed to be like uh, little vegetable boxes that uh, apparently you'd see at supermarkets in Japan. So, yeah, there's like a set of three in there that you can assemble and just stick on your desk for decoration. So very, very cool. And then finishing up our standard items from Hadron Epoch, we have Die Cut Mini Letter Set. And this is the Cream Soda Float. Yeah, so I guess... Those are probably, yeah, okay, so we got some envelopes. Looks like that's cool that you even have, like, a coaster. So looks like a couple different pieces of stationery for you to write on there and everything, and kind of like a little airmail stamp there. So very neat. Let's see what we have for Deluxe and that very heavy notebook that's in Deluxe. And for our Deluxe items, I should, like, scan this and use it as the title card. There's so much to look forward to. This is from Bondo. It is called the Rough Draft Large Notebook, and it is definitely large. It is spiral bound. It is kind of heavy. You can get a, a workout with this thing. But uh, yeah, that's a very 70s, you know, kind of, oh God, like the hippies font. Um, and the old diner subway tile. Yeah. From High Tide, we have a Penco 8 color crayon. Man, I kind of wish I had one of these when I was a kid instead of those insane Crayola crayon boxes, you know, with like the 250 colors. But yeah, this, it's like a, a multi-tool pen where you would twist and uh, click there and you've got all the different colors. It did not look like this is refillable, which is a shame because I've never seen anything like this before. That, that is wild and very cool. Very, very cool. From Ruru, we have a bunch of stickers here with a bunch of very retro appliances. Oh man, we have some cassette tape boom boxes, some actual cassette tapes, CRT TVs, good old lamps. God, what else have we got on here? You know, some calculators, retro vacuum cleaners. Oh my, wait, is that a vinyl cleaner? Yeah, I think that is a vinyl cleaner. Some old detergent. <laughs> I swear to God, you still actually see these like all over the place. An old, um, 
you know, wall clock that Seikyo would make for sure. That's a turntable you got there. It looks like a, a dishwasher, some retro fans. Oh, that's fun. That's a lot. Oh, man. Definitely some throwback there. From uh, talking out of turn. Oh, man, this screams 70s. It is, you know, one of those nice little pocketable, uh, reusable bags. And to close us out for this month, also from Ruru, we have the Flat Case Rhapsody with some nice little uh, summertime glasses there. Apparently that's a drink uh, glass pattern that was popular in the 1970s in Japan. And you know what? I swear you still see that because I'd say that pattern holds up today. Hey, nothing wrong with that. But yeah, that is definitely a heck of a throwback box. I might just have to time this for a Thursday release for a throwback Thursday, because, yep, this is a throwback Thursday kind of box. But, yeah, some uh, simple things. Definitely going for the retro theme this month by far. I just still can't get over the fact that we got a cassette tape box in 2023. That was my childhood there with, with mixtapes. And then when CDs came around and you could actually burn them and have folios and stuff in your car. Man, that was the life. Especially if you were lucky enough to have a car that actually had a cassette player. Mine did not, even though it was from the 90s and wasn't Infinity. Um, so I missed out on the days of when you could plug an iPod into your cassette player. Because no, I just had a CD player. But... That's what CD burners were for. Anyway, there you have it. That is volume 32 of Mido in a Box with Retro Nostalgia. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you next month. It would be really hilarious if Mido did a future-themed box next month. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but hey, Mido, if you're watching this, great idea for you there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next month.